First of all, uh, what about your first days up here in uh, Lokomotiv? Uh, what about the team and uh, uh, how do you feel up right now in Yaroslav? I feel very good. Lo love the area, love the town. My wife and I have uh, really enjoyed our two weeks here so far. We're actually going on our third week. And as far as our first day of training camp, we've been very, very happy uh, with the execution, the speed. We've got a lot of skill. Uh, now we just got to get the players into really good shape and, and get our systems down real tight. The big thing is that uh, Yaroslav has got uh, much players. Some of them were playing for the uh, BHL last season and uh, the Yas Hockey League. And uh, now you've got uh, many, many guys, newcomers. Uh, is it a problem that you've got uh, approximately 40 players uh, and just need to choose uh, 25 of them? Well, yeah, I mean, we, we have a lot of tough decisions and there's a lot of good players in this training camp, especially uh, the forwards. We, we've got a lot of good young forwards. Uh, the defense, we, we've got a pretty experienced group on the defense part, but uh, this competition for every position, which is always a good thing, but uh, we've, as a coaching staff, we've been very, very impressed with the speed of the young players and the skill, and we just introduced some systems this evening, and we were very, very happy with how quickly they picked up some of the systems. Uh, we've got to uh, talk with uh, some guys from your team, and uh, all of them said you're, you're very, very close to, the, close to them, and uh, they're very happy to have a coach like that. Uh, what about your career? Are you going to be a democratic one or are you going to be to a very uh, hard uh, talking with guys? No, my, my style and our coaching staff style is going to be a lot of communication. I mean, we're, we're going to demand that the players play the way they're supposed to play, play the right way that we like to call it, and which is going to be fast. You know, it's going to be very sound positionally. But I remember when it was like as a player, you know, you always wanted to be able to communicate with the coaches. And the, the players are going to have an open door, you know, they, they're going to have a voice in how we play. Because uh, I think that's important with the, today's players. Today's players are very smart. They've got some great ideas. And as a coaching staff, we'd be very foolish not to tap into some of that information from the players. At the end of the day, I'll make the final decision on how we all play. But um, I love the group of guys we have here. In, in a couple of days that I've been with them, it's been a very supportive group, a very positive group, and we just got to keep it going in that direction. Uh, I also can to ask you about the, uh, your uh, matches against uh, McIntyre-Gorsk, Matt Lurk, as uh, Paul Morris <laughs> coaching. Uh, what about this little uh, Canadian derby up here in Russia? Yeah, well, you know, Paul and I talk quite a bit when we were both interviewing for my locomotive job and when he was interviewing for his. <laughs> So it, it'll be a friendly uh, rivalry, but it'll be a fierce rivalry as well. But I'm looking forward to coaching against Paul. He was a really good guy to work with. Um, also, a former goaltending coach, Tom Barrasso, is one of his assistants. So when we play them, it'll, it'll be a very fierce competition. All right. In Russia, we always think about it. Uh, the, in NHL, the head coach is one guy who is uh, uh, coaching, who has a strong word for the guys, and the assistant coach is a man who is uh, thinking about the strategy, about the special teams and about the something else. And uh, in Russia we think that the, uh, it is better for a KHL club to take a system coach rather than the, the head coach of the initial club. What do you think about it? No, I, I think you know coaching is coaching and it's just getting the opportunity. There's a lot of good coaches, a lot of good assistant coaches who are never given the opportunity to get a head coach. Um, and that's why I jumped at this opportunity to come to Lokomotiv in Yaroslavl to have the experiences of a head coach at this level. You know, I've been a head coach at the minor league level in North America, but I wanted to go to a really good league, a league that rivals the National Hockey League, and I felt this was a fabulous opportunity. Uh, my style is to delegate. You know, Dmitry Yuskevich is going to be very involved in how we play on a penalty killing and how his defensemen play. Uh, Nikolai Bushevsky has got a very good offensive mind, and I, I want to use that. He, he, if he's better at power play than I am, then he's going to be the guy that's going to run the power play. We'll all have input, but one, one voice to the players on our systems will be the way we work it. But it'll be a collaborative effort on the coaching staff and with the players. Uh, both of your assistants, uh, Borchevsky and uh, Yushkevich, most of them are, uh, were working uh, as a head coach for the KHL right. teams. Uh, uh, what do you think about uh, their perspectives uh, in the future? Maybe they're going to be the uh, next head coach of uh, Lokomotiv? Yeah, I mean, both of them are very good coaches. You know, we've only been working together for a couple of weeks, but uh, our goal is to have a great season. We want to be going very, very deep into the playoffs. But what I've seen of both, I'm very impressed with. They've got both very good ideas. And we actually changed a couple of systems based on the information that they gave me and that they thought was going to be good. 
But absolutely, they'll be head coaches again, and it's very important that I give them enough responsibility that they don't get bored with their job and that they've got a big say in how we play. Uh, last question. It looks like uh, that uh, you've got uh, uh, not uh, uh, superstars up here in Lokomotiv, but uh, many, many nice guys like uh, franchise players like uh, Vishnevsky and Lubyuchin uh, uh, and uh, other guys. Uh, it's about the uh, upcoming season. Uh, um, we just uh, watching for the atmosphere up here in Lokomotiv, and it looks like uh, very, very uh, guys together. Uh, is it a team of, of brothers? It really is. So far, from what I, I can see, they, they get along really well, and we want to build a culture here that they work for the team. You know, nobody's going to work for individual stats and individual points. We really want to build a very uh, long-term championship caliber team, and the way to do that is to make sure that we've got a very good group of guys characterized. And Mr. Yakolev did an incredible amount of research into everybody that he signed to bring here, so I know that as a coaching staff, we all know that we're dealing with a lot of good character people. And if you're going to win a championship, you need to have good character people. And we certainly have them.